There is an epidemic amongst the Forex industry going around that has traders thinking that they have to win more than they lose to make money. And in today's video, I'm gonna to prove to you on paper how you can statistically lose more than you win and still make money. Hey Forex traders, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, what we talk about is of course how to trade in the foreign exchange, but also how to make money from the internet. So if you are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also of course click that like button because this video is gonna show you exactly how you do not have to worry about your accuracy or your win percentage any longer and still make money. We're gonna teach you how to lose more than you win and still make money. So first things first, before I get into this, understand your strategy, your education, who you listen to, what you're using, indicators you're using, none of that matters realistically when it comes to trading in any market. What matters is statistically breaking down how to make money and then executing properly. So in today's video, what I wanna talk about is how we can lose more than we win and still make some money. So first things first, the biggest point of today is understanding the importance of your risk reward ratio. Your risk reward ratio has to do with how much you're risking in each trade compared to how much is actually being rewarded if you win that trade on your account. So I wanna think about it this way. If we were to play a simple match or game or whatever you call it of rock, paper, scissors, and it was you, listening to this video versus me. And I came in, a traditional rock, paper, scissors match might be a bet. One winner, one time, rock, paper, scissors, shoot, winner gets 10 bucks. However, what a lot of times happens with traders is not this. So now I want to imagine a different scenario. What if we played rock, paper, scissors, and if I win, you have to give me $5. If you win, I have to give you $10. Well, I think you guys would take that bet, right? You know, statistically speaking, that in that point in case, you have a better chance of making money long-term if you play over and over and over again, because each time you win, you make more money than each time I win. So that's what I wanna talk about today. First things first, what you need to understand is most traders are not paying attention to their risk reward ratio. They are getting into trades and their stop loss levels are extremely high, they're risking five, 10, 15% on the account for a reward of three, four, 5% on the account. So now what I wanna do is break that down for you. Let's take an average trader. The average mentor is going to teach you that your risk to reward ratio needs to be one to one. A one to one risk to reward ratio. So what we're gonna do in today's example is over here, this will be a one to one. And over here, this is going to be a one to two risk reward ratio. And we're going to assume that we're smart traders and we're gonna be risking 2% on every single trade in both scenarios. So under a one to one circumstance, we're gonna assume that we have, let's say for this example, a thousand dollar account, which I think is pretty average. If you don't have at least a thousand dollars in an account, you might as well not be trading Forex in the first place. So let's look at this, a one to one risk reward ratio. So if we're risking 2%, Okay, at a one to one, that means we're risking 2% for reward of 2%. If we're risking 2% over here at a one to two, it means we're risking 2% for reward of a two, 4%. We're double our, our reward in case of our risk. So in this case, if we were to win, okay, let's say we win, we win, we win, and then we lose, 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 and lose. So let's say a total of eight trades we're gonna place. We win three, we lose five. In this case, we'll say we win our first trade on a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. That means that we would have an account balance of $1,020. That's the 2% gain on the account. Now this will be compounding, so now we'll, we'll risk 2% or reward of 2% of this number, not this number. And it'll compound down all the way so that it's perfect statistics and perfect numbers. So if we were to win another trade on this, we would be at, what would that be? $1,040.40 on the second trade. We've won two trades. 
we're now up over 4% on the account. Our third trade comes in. We have another great trade. It's a great day for us, or great week, great month, however long it takes you to trade. And on that third trade, we're at, what would that be? 10, one, zero, six, one or so, okay? We've got $1,061. So now we've finished. We're at three wins, okay? And now let's say we go through a typical losing spell, a losing streak. That happens from time to time in the market. Now, obviously, I, I think there's a lot of great traders that listen to my channel and listen to what I have to say. And I, and I would not anticipate a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are using the DeLorean, to lose five in a row. But let's, let's look at it. Let's say, okay, we're gonna lose five in a row. So if we were to lose the first trade off of this scenario, that would leave us with $1,039.98. Okay, trade number one loses. That's all right. We won three, we lost one, we're still in profit. Trade number two loses. We're left with $1,019.18. Still in profit, still in profit. A little under, uh, about a 1.9% profit now. We've won three, we've lost two. Third trade comes in place, and we've got $998. We are now officially negative. Win three, lose three. You've won three, you've lost three. And you're officially in the negative. Now fourth trade comes in as a loser and we're left with 978, uh, let's look here, 82. Okay, we're at 978.82. All right, and then on our fifth loss in a row for a total of eight trades accumulating, we are left with nine 59.28, okay? So in this example, on a $1,000 account at a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, we have won three trades, we have lost five, okay? We have what's rounded out to be about a 38% win ratio. We win 38% of our trades. We officially are left with 959.28. Not a winning account, we're not making money but not too bad. So now what I wanna do is just show you this minor tweak, a one to two risk reward ratio, always making sure that your risk is exactly half of your reward. Now this could be one to three, one to four, one to five. Raise that, the better, the higher, the better. So we'll do the same example, win, 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 and then lose five. Okay, fair example across the board. So first trade, this is a 2% risk now for a 4% reward because it's a one to two. So we're at $1,040. Okay, now trade number two comes in as a winner. And we've got $1,081.60 Okay, as trade number two as a winner. Trade number three comes in around $1,124. Uh, $1, we're now up uh, over 12% on the account. And now we have to take an account. We're gonna accrue five losses. Now keep in mind, this was a 4% gain, 4% gain, 4% gain. This is three 4% gains in a row. Three in a row is not uncharacteristic for, of course, if you're trading with the DeLorean or for most strategies, you can win three trades in a row. But now we're going to say we're going to lose five in a row. A bad trading spell is going to happen. You're going to get unlucky. You're going to be emotional. Some bad things are going to happen. We're going to lose five trades in a row. So loss number one comes in, okay, this is minus 2%. We lose 2% from win number three. We're left with $1,102.36, okay? Next trade comes in, this is our fifth trade. This is our second loss in a row. And we have $1,080.32. So you'll notice that now this is the point, one more loss, where this account went in the negative. This is now coming in on the sixth total trade. Win three, lose three. So on that, we have 1058.71. Notice, won three, lost three, we're still in profit, okay? In fact, we're still in profit 5.8%. That's still pretty good. One three, lost three, we're negative in this example, okay? Two separate examples. So now let's go on. Lost six and lost number seven. Lost six leaves us with 1037.54. We're still in profit. 
Again, on the overall $1,000 account example here. And loss number five for a total of eight trades on the account, we have $1,016.79. Okay, now both of these are about a 38% accurate, obviously 37 and a half if you do the math, but about 38% accurate. Meaning in this example, you could take 100 trades, 38 W's. When you look at this, you might say to yourself, I can win more than 38 out of 100. Some of you guys are winning more than that, yet you're still not profiting. And this is an example to hopefully light some fire under you because it has nothing to do with your strategy. It has nothing to do with the product you're using. It has nothing to do with your indicators, the time you're trading, your mentor. It has everything to do with your portfolio management, your risk to reward ratio. The percent that you're risking on the account is also important. And what you can do now is you can finagle these numbers to 1% risk, 3% risk, 4% risk. Compare it to a, a 1 to 1 to a 1 to 3 or a 1 to 4. And you'll realize really quickly that this is not out of the ordinary. Some of the best hedge fund managers, portfolio managers in the world are around 38 to 40% accurate. Why do you think that is? Because they are statistically figuring out how they can mitigate risk by lessening their chance of, lo of losing because of their risk reward ratio meaning they're cutting their losses quicker, they're letting their winners ride. Hopefully this is eye-opening to some of you guys because I deal with thousands of you guys inside of I Am Mastery Academy, which is by far the best trading platform to learn how to trade. And a lot of you guys come in from different walks of life. And one of the misconceptions you have is that you must win to make money. That's simply not the case. I just showed that here. The second part I want to say really quickly is that a lot of you guys feel that trading has a set answer. Think about it this way. Go back to high school. When you were in high school, you were taught that if you follow this math equation to a T every single time, you will get the right answer. I'm here to tell you that there's no strategy in the world that you can follow to a T every single time and you'll always win. You'll always get the right answer. It won't happen. So you first have to understand that you cannot control losses. They are going to happen. They are inevitable. If there's one thing that's guaranteed in the market, it's that you're going to lose trades. But when you see this, this should help you understand that you do not have to be perfect. So when people ask me, hey, how accurate are you? And I say 50, 60, 70% depending on the month. And they look at me like you're only 60% accurate. It literally doesn't matter. That's because my risk reward ratio is in check. That's how I'm still making money. So all these gurus out here telling you, I am 90% accurate. First, they're not, newsflash. And second of all, that doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with you making money. So hopefully this provided value. If it did, again, smash that like button and also click that subscribe button to watch more videos coming out soon. Hopefully this helped you and I'll see you guys on the next video.